the Houston Championship, checking in with an awesome supplier, uh, Kitta Park supplier here uh, for first. And it's going to be analog devices. I'm here with uh, Kristen, uh, talk a little bit more what's going on. And then we actually have uh, a team here uh, who's actually utilizing some of this and showing us some technology as well. So Kristen, uh, why don't we talk a little about uh, how analog devices uh, incorporates with FIRST, how do you support teams and uh, some of the sensors you use as well? Awesome, so primarily we tend to prefer a lot of, um, to do to donate sensors, um, to kind of give students an exposure to some of these, you know, these high quality sensors that they're going to get exposure to once they get into industry. Um, so we do a lot of donations through FIRST Choice, um, since we obviously we can't donate like 5,000, 6,000 parts, but we can do, you know, a couple thousand. Um, so prime, the, uh, the most common one that we see used is actually um, this little gyro board. This is just a single axis gyro um, that kind of works in the, in the Z direction. Um, it's the, the libraries are available in WPI Lib, so it's really easy for teams to kind of uh, get up and running really quickly. Um, they don't have to install any external libraries. Um, but this is kind of where we tell teams to start if they're kind of just getting into sensors. And um, if they were looking to take a step up, we've actually got the a fully fledged IMU. So this one's actually tri-axis accelerometer, tri-axis gyro. Um, and this is the ADIS 16470. This was released within the last couple of years, so it's kind of the latest and greatest technology. Um, and we've been giving a lot of these on uh, first updates now and getting a lot of great feedback uh, from teams using them as well, too. Yeah, awesome. Fantastic. Um, we've actually got uh, libraries available in all three major languages, so LabVIEW, C++, Java. Uh, the libraries are really easy to install. Um, we also have user guides for all of the sensors that we donate on our website at analog.com slash first. And um, on top of that, we a lot of our employees actually mentor teams. I'm one of them. I actually mentor 2655. And um, for teams that have employees as mentors or parents, we actually do do, uh, do uh, sponsorships as well. Speaking about teams, we have one here as well. It's actually uh, showing off some cool new things in regards to uh, the uh, IMU board as well. So let's take a look. So we got 900 over here. Uh, so I'm here with Olivia and Mahesh. Uh, and so Mahesh, I'm going to start with you. Uh, why don't you talk about where the sensor is, how are you using it, how is it being incorporated? Okay. So this right here is the IMU sensor given to us by ADI. We installed this in only a few hours. And because of this, we're able to get local data, um, local gyroscopic data, and we're able to get data from our gyroscope and our accelerometer, which is able to give us, which is, able to, which is allowing us to visualize our robot. And because of this, we can um, essentially. So, if we if we can choose, if we could show you something. So yeah, let's take a look. When we turn our robot right, even the model in CAD turns, and so this sensor is allowing us to do that kind of visualization, and that's so cool. Because What's kind of the advantage in that visualization? Like, how would you incorporate that with your team? So this visualization helps us uh, auto line and essentially run simulations, like getting hatch panels and cargo. It's really easy if we're able to just auto align to them and this helps us do that. So something I got a little bit educated on was uh, called ROS or ROS so let's talk a little bit more about uh, how are you utilizing that, how that's incorporating with your team. So ROS um, is the robot operating system and it's essentially the framework for running a robot code. Um, the robot, so the robot operating system um, makes it possible um, for us to integrate this sensor really easily. So this sensor came with actually an ROS package, which made it, that's why we could integrate it into our robot code in only a couple hours, um, because they had this built-in support. So it's because of it's because of ROS that we can integrate sensors, because of ROS we can have this kind of simulation um, in this visualization. So the visualization tool is a ROS tool um, that we're using with, our, with this sensor. So a lot of cool stuff happening here, of course, at the Houston Championship. Thanks again to Analog Devices for all the support of FIRST and FUN as well, too. Can't wait to see more things going on here at the Houston Championship.